name is Karen Koch. I'm a collage artist here in Hudson, Ohio, and welcome. I'm glad to have you with me today. I am going to give you a quick tour of my studio. My studio is actually in a um, art gallery on Main Street um, in the historic district of Hudson. So we're up on the second floor, um, directly or diagonally across from the clock tower, pretty easy to find. So hopefully someday you'll be able to come out and take a visit and come see the place in person. But in the meantime, let's do this by video. So glad to have you here. I do also have an Etsy shop. My Etsy address is lifeneedsart.etsy.com. So if you see anything you like today, please pop over there and take a look. I make collage. I use a lot of um, papers that I have painted and then cut or torn into pieces. I use a lot of vintage papers and found papers. So things like old sheet music, um, old maps. I love old maps. You know, maps used to be a sign of road trips and grand adventures. And so I love to use them in my artwork. I also use a lot of old book pages. I'm an avid reader. I loved dictionaries when I was a kid. So I use a lot of dictionary pages. You know, and maps and dictionaries and things are, um, things that used to be really important to us in the past, but we don't use them really anymore. So instead of having them end up in a landfill somewhere, I give them a second life in my artwork and that makes me really happy. So you'll see as you look around that a lot of my themes are nature inspired. Trees, flowers, landscapes, but abstracted. So they're not realistic, they're not photographs, but um, They've got kind of an imaginative sense to them. So for instance, this is a tree that was inspired by a trip I took out to Oregon several years ago. And it's made up of painted paper that I tore into pieces and created the shape around the tree. Now the tree itself is made with pages from an old art history book that I picked up at a secondhand shop in France when I was there also several years ago. So I tore it into pieces, painted it green, and that created that tree image in the center. Um, sometimes I use stitching and buttons in my artwork. So this one has some stitching and also has some seashells. Uh, the big one over here has a lot of maps. The leaves on the tree are fabric that I painted myself and cut into shapes. This one also does have buttons from my grandmother's button box, so it's very special to me. So across the top of the wall here, you'll see a bunch of little mini collages, and I'll give you a close-up look at those in a minute. But at the meantime, I'd actually want to show you some of my scarves. Now I hand paint scarves, these happen to be silk, one at a time, kind of like watercolor paintings. So these are not batik, they're not tie-dye, they're not shibori. This is a technique that I've developed over the years. I do use um, French fabric dyes and the dyes are set so the scarves are washable, you know, cold water, hand wash, but they've already been washed a couple of times in the process. But again, you'll see as you look at them, they're sort of nature inspired, you know, tulips maybe, spring flowers, you'll see some that look like say irises or water lilies or sunflowers. I'm thinking of those kinds of things as I'm making them. This is my large silk scarf. It's about 11 or so inches wide and about 70 inches long. It's a really versatile size scarf. So if you like to play with your scarves and tie them and wear them in different ways, this is the size you want because you can wrap it around a couple of times, you can tie it, you can pin it, you can do all kinds of things with it. Um, if you don't like them quite that big, if you don't want that much bulk, I do make a smaller size as well. This is eight inches wide by 52 inches long. It's a really nice size just to put around your collar or just to tie around your neck. This is also really cute if you have long hair and you pull it up in a ponytail and clip this around your ponytail. It's very cute. Um, I also do infinity scarves. So that's the kind that I'm wearing today. This is the same size as the big silk ones, same width, same length, but the ends have been sewn together. So it creates a big circle and you just put it around your neck, wrap it around a couple of times and you're out the door. No fuss, no muss, no tying, really simple and easy. 
And then, new for spring. I just started making these and I have to tell you, I love them. These are squares. These are the big silk squares. They're 33 inches square. And they're just so pretty. Um, silk handles colors beautifully and they're just, I don't know, I'm having fun with them. The process of making these scarves is actually uh, fairly slow. It's kind of meditative, uh, it's very peaceful. I get a lot of joy out of it and I think that shows through in the colors and the patterns. Um, at least I hope so for you. And then lastly in the silk, I have silk bandanas. Now seriously, how cute is that, right? So especially since some of us haven't been to the hairdresser recently, you know, to wear this to pull your hair back, tie it around a ponytail. These are super cute. I'm so happy with the way these are coming out. And then one of the other fabrics I use, if I can draw your attention to my uh, lovely assistant over here, she's wearing my rayon scarves. This, I'll be honest, is my everyday fabric for three seasons out of the year. As soon as it gets cool in the fall, I pull these out of my closet and I start wearing them and I wear them right up until the last post possible moment in spring when I can wear them. They are the same length as my other big scarves, but they're twice as wide. So they have this really pretty fringe on the end. Um, these make a great shawl. So you can wrap them around your neck, you can wear them like a scarf, you know, put it around this way and loop it through. It's real easy. But I love this fabric because it's so soft. It gets softer and softer the more you wear it. And it's just so cozy and snuggly. Um, if you can also, if you want to extend it into a four season <laughs> scarf, you can tie it around your waist and wear it like a little cover up at the pool or the beach. And then lastly, before we go, I promise to give you a little closer look at some of the uh, little mini collages. So these are really sweet. So if you can see that, they're six inches wide by eight inches tall. They're little collages on panels. So I've done them on paper and then attached it to the front of the panel. So you'll see sometimes they have stitching or buttons in them and that's how I've managed to do that. The artwork is all sealed and varnished. They've had two coats of a protective varnish. They can be framed, but because of the way the panels are made, they don't have to be framed. On the back, I have a wire, and the wire is inset, so they will lay flat against your wall. They don't tip around. And that makes them really nice for grouping. You can easily, you know, put them into groups of four or six or whatever to fit your space. But they're small, they're easy to ship, they fit nicely in every little corner where you need a little pop of color. They're really cute, and you'll find a lot of them are also nature-inspired, obviously, chickens. I like birds, I like butterflies, deer. Um, they're still abstract, but there's a little sense of nostalgia and uh, nature. So you'll see a lot of old book pages in them. Uh, let's see. There's a hummingbird for you. This one has an old, old book page in the back and a little piece of fabric behind the bird. So really sweet. And then if you're looking around my Etsy shop, you'll also th see things like prints. I have some prints of my artwork and I have greeting cards and a few other goodies too. So thank you. I appreciate you coming out to visit my studio today and coming out to support the arts. If you have any questions, of course, just reach out. Again, my website is lifeneedsart.com. My Etsy shop is lifeneedsart.etsy.com. And if you don't see exactly what you want, uh, reach out and talk to me. I'm happy to do custom work. So if you need something to fit a particular size or space in your home, or maybe you want to incorporate some of your materials into the artwork, we can do that too. So thank you. I appreciate it. And enjoy the rest of your day.